Muhammadullah Hafid Jihudur Rahimahullah was one of the super eminent and leading Islamic personalities in our country. His outstanding lifestyle had an awesome combination of various important and significant professions. Altogether, he was an age alerted Islamic scholar, far sighted Islamic politician, wise lecturer, skillful teacher, and spiritual pioneer. Overall, he was an active one almost in every sector of Islam. There would hardly be found such great Islamic figure in the history of our country. We will try to mention the important aspects of his well arranged life in short range. Islamic culture, a thought of Islam. মাদ্রাসা শিক্ষার্থীদের জন্য এই রমজানে ঢাকার মিরপুর ও যাত্রাবাড়িতে আবাসিক ব্যবস্থাপনায় ফুল ইংলিশ স্পোকেন কোর্স দ্য নেম অফ দিস লাইজন পার্সন ইজ মোহাম্মদুল্লাহ আফটারওয়ার্স হি ওয়াজ ওয়েল নন অ্যাজ হাফিজ জি হুজুর হি ওয়াজ বর্ন ইন এইটিন নাইনটি ফাইভ ইন রায়পুর আন্ডার দ্য ডিস্ট্রিক্ট লক্ষ্মীপুর His family was respected and noble one in the society. He was fifth among nine sons and five daughters of his father Muhammad Idris Ali. His grandfather Muhammad Akramuddin Miyazi was an obedient pupil and compliant follower of Maulana Imamuddin Al-Ghazali. Hafid Juhujur Rahimahullah was grown up in a beautiful appropriate environment with his wise and Ganshah's family which helped him to build up his colorful golden life. Very soon he learned reciting the Holy Quran from his uncle. Afterwards he was eager to memorize the Holy Quran. But that time the institutions of Hibs Quran was not available everywhere like this current age. Panipat in India was famous for that. Although it wasn't so easy for him to go there but he was sent there for having medical care when a dog bit him. Then he got admitted there in the Hibs Quran institution at Panipat. He completed Hibs Quran there. Higher education. After completing Hibs, he got admitted in the famous institution Mazahir Ulum in Saharanpur where he had been studying for a long seven years on Hadith, Tafsir, Fiqh, Usul al-Fiqh, Mantiq, Philosophy, and so on. Then he got a mission in Darulum Dalbant. He completed Takmil from there in 1924. He achieved special wisdom on Hadith from a group of celebrated Islamic scholars like Maulana Anwar Shah Kashmiri, Hussain Ahmad Madani, Sheikh Muhammad Izzaz Ali, and so on. In this long student life in India, only once he came home was never absent in the class. Spiritual Purification After completing Takmil, he went to the Hakimul Ummat Maulana Shafa Ali Thanubi to be spiritually purified. Thanubi Rahimahullah accepted him and permitted to stay in Khankai Imdadiyah at a time Thanubi Rahimahullah declared as a Khalifa. professional life. After staying in Khankai Imdadiyah, some months he came back to Bangladesh along with his two friends Shamsul Haq Farid Puri Rahimahullah and Abdul Wahab Bir Jihujur Rahimahullah. They joined together in Jamia Yunusia Bilbaria as teacher, which was one of the famous Islamic institution center in the country. After serving their five years, they moved to Bergerhat. establishing madrasa They set up a madrasa in Bagrahat known as Ghazalia at a time they thought that Dhaka the capital city was mostly appropriate and rightful location for founding madrasa since it was the most populated area center for business and many organizations Meanwhile they moved to Dhaka city in 19 36 and established Jamia Husainia Islamia Borokatara. Hafiz Juhujur Rahimahullah 
had commendable and important participation in the establishment of Jamia Qurania Arabia Lalbag in 1950 and Jamia Arabia Imdadul Ulum Faridabad in 1956 along with Shamsul Haq Faridpuri Rahimahullah. He also established Jamia Nuriya Madrasa. His students He had been teaching hadith in various madrasas for more than 50 years. The time a team of prominent Islamic scholars was made by him including Sheikh al-Hadith Allama Aziz al-Haq rahimahullah, Maulana Hidayatul Nar rahimahullah, Sheikh Fazlul Karim Charbunay rahimahullah, Fazlul Haq Amini rahimahullah, Abdul Hay Bahar Puri rahimahullah and so on. As a lecturer He delivered Islamic lecture in many programs all over the country serving solely to motivate people towards the light of Islam. He also delivered lecture against the superstition and bid'ah practiced in the society. He had been working as a khatib at Lalbagh Shahi Mosque for long 23 years. Political life Hafid Jihujur Rahimahullah observed that the leading political point of our country was full of corruptions, dishonesties, irregularities, cheatings, etc. So he thought that Islamic scholars should come forward to rectify this important platform. 29th July in 1981, Hafid Jihujur Rahimahullah invited all the Islamic scholars in the country to Nuriya Madrasa. There he delivered a historical lecture. which included why they should come forward to the political field. That magical lecture witnesses his political expertness and foresight. Apart from this political movement, he traveled different places of the country and motivated people to the pure politics. He invited people to seek forgiveness to Allah and vote on the accurate person. This great protest was known in the history as the politics of Tawba or the extensive Tawba. Thus, the name and the fame of Hafid Jihuzur Rahimahullah were spreading all over the country. Eventually, he took part in the national election in 1981 and stood third, which was the great introduction and effective chapter for Islamic politics in this country. The election was finished, but Hafid Jihujur Rahimahullah continued his struggle. He said, The movement I started, it's an war in the way of Allah. Therefore, I will continue it. He established the Islamic political party Khilafat Andalun. Accordingly, he took part at the national election in 1986 where he had second position. traveling over the world to solve international political disagreements. The political movement of Hafid Juhuzur Rahimahullah wasn't restricted inside the country, but he traveled different countries to solve international political problems. Apart from this, he traveled Iran in 1982 with a group of prominent Islamic scholars like Shaykh al-Hadith Allama Aziz al-Haq Rahimahullah Mufti Fazlul al-Haq Amini Rahimahullah Professor and Dr. Akhtar Farooq Mawlana Muhyuddin Khan Rahimahullah Abu Tahir Misbah Damad Barakatuh and so on. They met the great religious leader of Iran, Ayatollah al-Khomeini, and discussed on various political problems, then traveled to Saudi Arabia. The great scholar of Saudi Arabia, Abdullah bin Baz, invited him. He met him and discussed on various problems of Muslims, including the disagreements between Ahl Mazhab and Ahl Hadith. Then Hafid Juhujur Rahimahullah traveled Iraq and met different leaders of Iraq including the President Saddam Hussein and discussed on the political disagreement between Iraq and Iran. He reminded the Universal Muslim Brotherhood and the importance of equality and unity of all Muslims. Then he came back home. Personal Life As a person, he was modest, honest, and Lord lover. In spite of having many words, he never left even tahajjud. Salat was coldness for his eyes. He liked to be always neat and clean. Death and resting place. 
on 5th May 1987, this great person passed away in Sahrawardi Hospital. Thousands of people took part in Janaza led by his son Ahmadullah Ashraf. He was buried then in the yard of Nuriya Madrasa. We may come across many Islamic personalities, but such a great leading person like him is rare in our national history. He will be ever well known for his inspiring leadership for Islam, high level of taqwa, wisdom, and so on. May Allah make his grave a peaceful garden and let him have the higher respected position in the paradise. Maths Education, Komi Chattu Chattri De Channu, Arbir Shathe Mil Rekhe Full English Spoken Course. Ashraqat Nafsi Binurim Min Fuhadeh